Hi guys, today I'm going to do an introductory video on how to work with dates and time in Excel. Okay, so here we have a series of projects. So here's project one up to project six. Okay, and here's the start dates of project one and subsequently for two, three, and four. Okay, so sometimes we might want to know the length of the project, right? from its start date to its end date. So in Excel, if these are put in as dates, you can simply equals, subtract the end date, rather subtract the start date from the end date. So end date minus start date. And we have 31 days here, right? And for the next project, 87 days, 45 days, and so on. And you can drag down using the bottom right hand corner of the cell. But one thing that uh, is, you know, we might need to improve upon here is that this number of days includes weekends, okay? And usually with business, we want to deal with only business days, right? That we actually worked on the project. So there's a function in Excel which will calculate this same uh, subtraction except it will also exclude the weekends okay and this function is called net work days okay so you type in equals network days you put the start date of the project comma the end date of the project close the parentheses and there were actually 24 work days or business days, however you want to call it, between the start of this project and the end of this project. And we can drag that down using the bottom right hand corner. This project was actually 63 business days. And drag that all the way down. Obviously it's going to be less work days than total number of days. And this column is actually probably much more useful for a business setting. Okay. Uh, so I hope this video was uh, helpful, just basic introduction to working with time and uh, dates in Excel. Make sure to check out my other tutorial videos on my channel. Subscribe, comment, and practice, practice, practice. Thanks a lot. Bye.